Hello everyone, it's Baby Turtle here. In this video, I'm starting a real-time covered call challenge using 100 shares of Walmart to pay myself regular paychecks. I'll be showing you every single trade, wins, losses, how much I'm making, screenshots from my brokerage account, my entire trading journals, and you will be able to see with me on this journey how much we will make. I'll briefly talk about the concept of covered calls and the wheel strategy, why I'll be implementing it this year, why I picked Walmart, and I'll be answering any questions you might have about this particular options method. Now, let's get right into it. A brief presentation, I'll talk about the covered call mechanics. If you are very familiar with how covered calls and the wheel strategy works, you can skip this section. If you are not fully familiar, this will be a quick refresher for you. Um, but in any case, I do recommend spending a few secs here just so that you know what I'm trying to do with this real-time challenge. This challenge, by the way, will last for a full year. So I'll be doing it. I'll be posting updates every week and it's going to, um, it's going to end either end of this year or maybe I, I'll, I'll continue even after the end of this year. So we'll see. All right. So why covered call strategy? Number one, the bullish trends are broken on main indices. We have a very choppy market. And what I mean with that is this is the NASDAQ index fund QQQ. If you look at the white line that I've drawn here, by the way, this is the weekly chart, just so that you're very familiar um, with, the, with, the, with the pattern. Now, the white line is the trend line, which NASDAQ has respected since 2020 summer. That's right after the COVID crash. And if you look at it, the structure has been broken in the January crash. Well, not yet crash. We've dipped all the way to 19.5%, I think, and then um, came back. And who knows, maybe next, um, next week we might actually go into bear market territory. Uh, that means 20% or more drop. Currently, we're at a support line around 340, but we might uh, we might well break this trend line next week. And Nasdaq has also breached the weekly 50 moving average, which is this orange line that you see here. It has respected this for quite some time, but it has broken that as well. So there's a structural break in the bull market, the lovely sweet bull market, the single directional sort of market structure that we've had past two years. The S&P is quite similar as well. This is the trend line on S&P since uh, we've had, you know, right after the COVID crash. And in January, S&P has broken its, its trend line as well. It's trying to find some support around weekly 50 EMA. Let's see how Russia-Ukraine situation escalates. And uh, we'll also be keeping an eye on the tightening of the Fed policy, the increasingly hawkish tone that Fed members demonstrate at, at their interviews and at various occasions. So we'll certainly be watching that. Now, the market will be choppy this year, in my opinion, when you look at major investment banks, their forecasts, they basically, majority of the forecasts are either flat or sort of single digit returns this year. You also have some people who predict there will be a massive crash this year. I don't think there will be a massive crash. We could possibly see a bear market on NASDAQ. I would be surprised if we see a bear market on S&P 500, but you know, anything is fair game if you know, Russia-Ukraine situation escalates, in my opinion, coupled with the inflation concerns and hawkish Fed policy, um, there is um, there's a good chance that this year will not be nearly as good as uh, 2020 and 2021 in terms of index returns. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this covered call strategy, and I'll come back to that. So the beauty of the covered call strategy is it's relatively low risk. I'll explain in depth. Easily scalable, and if you want to build long-term wealth, in my opinion, the single most important thing is that you need repeatable strategies, easily scalable strategies. Winning one day and not knowing what to do the next day is not the way to go, in my opinion. The other thing is the safe returns, um, because you collect the premiums uh, no matter what. Even if the stock goes down, goes up, you, you keep your premium. It's, it's a relatively low-risk strategy. This strategy can only go wrong if there is a big market crash. I mean, even then, we would still be able to collect um, our covered call income. We would still be able to generate weekly paychecks from our shares. However, the, the returns will, will go down for sure. The other major advantage of this strategy is that it is very low maintenance. And if you, learn, if you work full time like I do, um, that's great because you can just spend a few minutes per week, literally a few minutes per week, not more than that. And you can replicate this, this challenge every week and pay yourself regular paycheck. So that's the other beauty of this strategy. Now, what makes a good covered call candidate? That is very important. Unfortunately, this is what most people get wrong. I've observed even some of the experienced people picking wrong stocks for covered calls. And the single biggest favor you can do to yourself as an investor is to pick the right stock 
to begin with ahead of your covered cost strategy. That is the single most important thing. I have a blog, as you know, my channel is new, so is my blog. I'll be putting some really um, critical information there regarding my strategy, some really helpful stuff. Um, it's currently, I'm developing it, but there is already some really good content. So it's babyturtleinvesting.blogspot.com. You can go check it out now. And here I described in detail what I look at when I identify my covered call targets and why I picked Walmart. We talked about the choppy markets piece already. We're looking for stocks that have range bound behavior. And that is what most people get wrong. Here I compare Tesla and Walmart as a case study. But the gist of the story is this is Tesla chart. You can see that Tesla is a stock that really has strong momentum in either way. It's a stock that can casually move 20-30% in either direction. So we're, that's absolutely the last thing we want when we pick our covered call candidate. Stocks like Square, stocks like PayPal, stocks like you know Tesla are not well suited at all for covered call strategies. The last thing we want is high volatility. We want to be able to collect our returns, our covered calls, without the stock making big moves. If it drops too much, our covered call returns would dip. If it goes up too much, then our shares will get called. We don't want either of them. We want to be able to generate our rental income, our covered call income, as our shares uh, gain value very slowly. That's essentially the, um, um, the gist of this strategy, because that way you can gain both from the shares and the covered calls. And we will examine that in detail. Here you see the Walmart chart. And I've put... Um, I've basically marked the, the channels here. Walmart is a great um, covered call candidate from a TA perspective because it has established a really nice channel, as you guys see here. There is strong support around um, sort of 134, 133 level, as you guys see, which it has breached only once in a long time, and it has very strong resistance around 144 level as well. So the, the channel bound behavior is very important when you pick your covered call targets. That's what that's unfortunately what uh, some people miss. It's very important to understand this bit that I'm marking right now. Tesla can be a much better stock or company than Walmart and it can even get you better returns but that does not that does not make it a better stock for the covered call strategy. So that's something you really need to understand well. Now let's look at Walmart from a fundamentals perspective. Now it satisfies nearly all I think all technical requirements actually that I've outlined in the blog. And most importantly, it does demonstrate that channel bound behavior that we looked at. It has 48 years of consecutive dividend growth. I mean, what more can you can you expect? Um, it has consistent gross margin levels for over 10 years at around 25%. Now, this is very important because what does this mean? This means that it can easily pass on the increasing costs on to its customers. So we know that this year inflation is going to be a big problem. It's at record highs, 7.5% in the US, 5.5% in the UK. But the beauty of this is that for Walmart, that's not a big problem. Walmart is because of the, the margin situation, as I've just described. It's, it's therefore considered to be a safe haven investment. And in a challenging year like this, where most forecasts are either slightly bullish or flattish on indices compared to last year, I think this is great. So this is exactly the kind of investment that I want to hold this year. This is no longer 2020, where every single tech stock with crazy high PE and little to no profitability or even no revenue can just keep going up and up. This is not a year where you can just buy any stock and it goes up. Uh, 20 to 50 maybe 100 percent that that was 2020 and 2021 that's over now all right guys now i will demonstrate you in a very visual way how this will work the analogy that i like the most is the real estate analogy so the 100 walmart shares that we will own that i will shortly own actually uh, because i sold the put i'll talk about it is our real estate now Let's see if I'll be able to impress you with my drawing skills. I doubt it. But let's see we paid $139 for, uh, for Walmart, which is slightly above, uh, above its current cost. That's the strike price of the put I sold. I'll come to that in a second. That means that we are deploying a capital of $13,900. So that is the capital we are deploying towards this trade. Then we will have, two, uh, we will have rental income on our, um, on our property. The first one will be our covered calls, which I abbreviate as CC. In my case, I will collect these on a weekly basis. Then we will have our dividends, which is also a regular income stream. 
the difference being dividends will come on a quarterly basis and we will collect income we will generate um, regular paychecks if you like from our dividends and um, and covered calls and covered calls will be our primary means of uh, collecting real, regular income from this trade and let's say that we get $50 covered call premium we will look at the options change shortly so we'll see how much we will get but let's say we get $50 rental income uh, per week which is a little on the conservative side as you will see and Walmart pays $55 dividends per quarter meaning that it is 220 per year is the amount of dividends that we will get now combining these two it comes down to um, an annual income of $2,600 from covered calls 20 uh, sorry 220 uh, from dividends and in total we are looking at $2,820 of course we can also gain from the rise in the real estate price or in other words the, um, the increase in uh, the 100 Walmart shares but for simplicity I am assuming that 100 shares of Walmart will be trading at 139 at the end of this year just like it is now I'm being slightly conservative here and that brings me to a, um, a total um, for the demonstration purposes I'll be looking at different scenarios shortly but uh, that brings us to 2820 as uh, a potential full year income from this play now that means 20 percent return on the capital we deploy so considering that we've deployed we would have deployed thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars the difference is twenty percent twenty percent annualized gains is not something to underestimate guys that is a lot higher than annualized average returns of s p 500 and nasdaq that's higher than how much warren buffett makes on average terms per year 20 percent annualized returns is great but in my scenario modeling which i'll show in a sec i was even on the conservative side i assumed even lower metrics um, and i'll demonstrate to you uh, what that means very quickly before we move into the scenario modeling here we look at the option chain for walmart so this was from friday so as you see the price is slightly below 139 i'm looking at covered calls for next week and that's why you know i'm looking at calls section now you can ignore the puts um, and that is for for walmart obviously I will tell you how I read this options chart. Now, the single most important Greek we have is Delta. If you're not familiar with Delta, that's totally okay. It has two conventional descriptions. One is that it is the movement in the options price based on a $1 change in the underlying price. That's like the, the textbook definition. However, for our purposes, for covered call challenge purposes, the most important definition of Delta is, the, it is, is that it is the probability the market assigns for a stock to hit that level or higher in case of calls by the time of expiration so what that means is that if you look at these call strikes which is 141 142 the market is giving 23 percent and 31 percent chance respectively for walmart to be around uh you know at four, uh, 141 or 142 or higher in each case respectively so there is the market is pricing 31 percent probability for walmart to be 141 or higher by february 25 similarly it is pricing uh, a 23.6 percent probability um, for walmart to be 142 or higher as you see as the strike prices go up the delta decreases because the market is assigning lower probability uh, walmart to hit these much higher prices just um, by feb 25 and we, when we pick our strike prices this is what this will come very handy i will typically be looking at 20 to 30 percent delta range and that in this case corresponds to 141 142 now let's bring all that together i've made a scenario modeling here looking at three different scenarios the first one is our worst case scenario which assumes that we collect only twenty dollar per week now go back to if you go back to the options chain we see that um, if you go for a 20 to 30 percent delta it corresponds to a 90 to 60 to 90 dollar uh, weekly income and multiply that by four so you're talking about 
really um, 200, 300, maybe 200 to 400 range. Um, but I'm really being conservative here. I'm assuming that I will only collect $20 weekly income. So that's only, you know, I would collect that low of an income from covered calls only if Walmart dips too high, because then I would be selling far out of the money calls and receiving lower premiums. So that is a, that is my worst case for a reason. Now, dividends are stable across the board, and that's what is beautiful about the dividends. You get that money irrespective of um, of how, how um, the, the rest of the covered call mechanics plays out. If you go back to the, you know, if you go to Walmart investor relations section, you can see uh, you might want to visit this page yourself if you take on this challenge, but it pays about $55, as you guys see here. Now, the base case is, again, very conservative. I like keeping my base cases conservative. I like to... Um, you know, plan for the worst and hope for the best instead of other way around. I'm assuming I will collect only $35 weekly income. So that's very low uh, compared to where things are now. And that already assumes that the market will dip hard um, to for us to collect just $35 weekly income. But I like to be conservative. I like to be on the, on the safe side. Dividends are the same. And in total, that leads to a 2K return per year. And if you look at the best case scenario, our best case, we assume we collect $85 weekly income. That's actually quite a possibility. I mean, if you look at the options chain now, the um, the current premiums are around um, you know 84 to to 40 range. So that's not a that's not a far possibility, but I I still want to consider as my best because I want to be conservative. Dividends are fixed, and we also assume that we will gain from the appreciation of the stock value, the appreciation of um, where is our drawing the appreciation of the the price of our, our real estate basically so we assume that we will make returns from that item as well all in all that leads to about 7200 slightly above 7200 with an amazing 52 percent return on capital now is that a possibility can we make 52 percent per year yes we can but it is not the highest i would like i would like to stick to my base case which is um which is conservative i would say it is a somewhere probably between the worst and base but i like making my base cases conservative when i start new investment um new investment cycles so 15 percent i'm totally happy with 15 percent this year considering how choppy the market is and how 15 percent is significantly above annualized average returns on s p 500 or even nasdaq depending on the time period you're looking at so i'm totally happy with this trade Finally, let's go back to my journal. So this is my journal entry. I talked about it in my Iron Condor video as well. This is how I keep record of my trades. Of course, you can have different strategies, different ways of um, keeping records of your logbook, of your journal. But I'll be showing you my journal throughout this entire challenge. You'll be able to see every single trade I will record on a weekly basis. So it will be fully real time and I will be 100% transparent. I'll be showing my brokerage account to you as well. So everything will be 100%. Uh, transparent now this is the price of walmart at the close it dipped a little bit um yesterday which is totally okay what i did was i sold a 139 put to be able to assign uh, 100 walmart shares now i kept the strike high on purpose and collected a nice premium near 200 dollars a 1.4 percent roi on on weekly not bad at all actually considering the um, capital we're deploying and hopefully i get assigned 139 shares next week I need Walmart to be below 139 next week, which I think it can be because um, it's currently at 139 and next week we will have the, the esca like, po potential escalation of Russia-Ukraine situation and uh, we might possibly have some more hawkish comments on the Fed side. So hopefully I get assigned, but even, even if I won't get assigned, I'll be keeping a nice premium and I will sell another put and I think in two years, uh, in two weeks, sorry, time. I'll be um, I'll be starting the cover call side of this journey. Sometimes this is referred as the wheel strategy as well. It will shortly become a cover call strategy for us. Um, basically, the the moment I get assigned my hundred Walmart shares, it will become a cover call strategy. Hope you guys like this video. This is it for now. You know I've given you a lot of information. I've thrown thrown a lot uh, at you guys in this video, especially if you are not very fami familiar with options. But please do leave a comment and subscribe if you found the content helpful. I will answer any questions you will have in the comment section. We will be creating our weekly paychecks using hundreds walmart shares and i'll be as i said 
uh, my take, transparency and honesty, very important in my channel. I'll be showing all my trades to you real time from my brokerage account, screenshots and my trading journals. And we will see where this journey will bring us in a year's time. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe if you like the content and you might want to check out my blog as well, which I put the link below. And uh, thank you so much for your time.